Gome, the governor's president, governor of Moranga County, Irogoa Kangata, governor Sicily Barire, Kumakoria, Butumurero Hirogatoro Niakinire, members uh, present, I want to start with my area member of parliament, Munyoro, and all members of parliament. We have our Maito Betty, uh, Sawa. And we have other members in, um, of Muranga County, led by our senior Honorable Dede Nyoro, Dabaya Korea Kiharu. We have all other visiting members of parliament. There are more than 120. So allow me to say I am so humbled. Honorable senators, led by the deputy speaker, Katuri Kutoka Kule Meru, and the leader of majority, Cheriot, Karibu Sana Hapa County ya Muranga. Our PS is present. I can see we have the PS Energy. Tukona PS Belio, ambayo nilikuwa chair wake wakati mwingine. Tukona PS Niliona Kimodo. Mining, tukona Mwangi, ambaye he's our son from the county of Muranga. And your excellence, Rikichi, we are very happy that you have one of our own as a PS. Nani mtoto wetu. Adwa itomurega. Ah, gaidia iwega. Gaine muwega. Na hede shiode. Mwadhani ya gosho, tomo kumia Yesu Kristo, woko kwe na akori ni unudona bishovu, jesone mure hithi, eto gegeoka, totigio kire, horela imweni ito wa geteoro heni odo wa goto wegeteoke nene. Your Excellency, you'll allow me, I'll mix both languages and I want just to take a few minutes to welcome you all. I am very humbled from the leadership of the entire nation. This is what God loves. We normally say, where there is unity, God commands blessings. Today, Kenya is a blessed country. From northern Kenya to the coastal region, to the Ukambani area, to Meru region, the whole nation is here. Ata taita taveta wa meakilisho hapa. Watu wa Rift Valley wa meakilisho hapa. Watu wa mboa metoka kule Nyamira County kwa wakisi wako hapa. Embede mweshimo tukona wakisi wengi sana hapa kwetu. Tukona watu wa Nakuru County wako hapa na naona Madam Senator. Thank you, thank you very much. Mukamiku manyere maito wito. We have been in Parliament together. Honorable Meli, I don't want to mention all. Honorable Kainan, who is also my Deputy Party Leader. And the entire Jubilee family, Wakohapa, Mpakalamu. Can you imagine? Taihodera, Yadwara, Murohe, Mwokirele. Tukona kina modama. And so I know a chance will come, honorable members, because it has never happened in this county and also in this village that we have had such dignitaries here. Just as a background, where we are standing, this is my home. I have my friends who are here who are not politicians. I have several groups, Your Excellency, and maybe when the chance comes, you will meet with them who have come to see where I have come from. Some of them are clergy in the church. Some of them are business people. Some of them are not from this country, but they have said they want to come and see where I came from. When you look up, there is a church there. That church was built by the late Bishop Gatimo back in the year 1970. And his desire was to have a boarding girl secondary school, but the community was not able to do that school. And when I became the women rep in the year 2013, I embarked on a journey of building the Bishop Gatimo Kenyona girls, as it was the desire of the late Bishop Gatimo. This church here, from the time I was a small girl, that's where my mom brought me. And so from Sunday school, I've grown in this church. And so I asked myself, what can I give back to my community? And I chose a boarding girls school. The setup of this school is a bit unique because we also look at the girls who comes from the venerable background, the ones who cannot be able to pay school fees. And I have had more than 100 girls in this school that I pay for school fees through my foundation, Sabina Chege Foundation. So we wanted such kind of a starehe setup where the able parents can pay for their girls, where if somebody wants to sponsor a girl, can bring them here, they get good background, good upbringing, and we can be able to make sure that they go through their education. I think you have seen for yourself. Meona wasichana? Wako sawa ama hawako sawa? Wako sawa ama hawako sawa? Tupigie BGK Makofi Mazuri. And so, Your Excellency, 
back in the year 2017, after the elections, when we had to do the rerun of the elections, October 10th was a very dark day for me. I want, as I speak, my family to come. Please be fast. And so my father came to visit me, and my father is around. I also want him to be walked here. And he was coming home from Nairobi. The route we have come through from Dika Greens as we were coming home, he was driving my mother. Just before they, we go to the big market, Kangare, they had an accident. It was a head-on collision. We lost our mother. And my father stayed in hospital in ICU for three months. And so we stayed without burying my mother for three months. But God is faithful that my father is walking today. He's healthy. He's talking. And my entire family, we are so grateful. And so I'm born in a family of nine. We have our firstborn sister, Modoni, who is here. Our secondborn, Eta Gokemani, who is a pastor in the Baptist Church. We have our thirdborn, Gure, Arorurogo Kuadoine. Oh, yo, yo. Mutigi, okay. Pass, pass, pass. Quickly. It's our thirdborn. Then we have our fourthborn, Geshua, Peter. And they all have families. By the way, Akuna Mutusingo Apa. Um, then we have fifthborn, Kamau. We have our sixth born, who is Grace, who is not here. And then we have our seventh born, uh, Jogona Naitwa Motek. We have our eighth born, who is Kero. He's also around, Akobadoku, around. And I am the last born, you at Favely, Sabina Wajiro <laughs> So that's our family. And so for the last six years, we have been doing something to assist the community. And why I am so, so grateful to you, Your Excellency. I know I have invited many people, but you have also invited many people on my behalf. This is a great honor to my family. Because we said, what can we do to remember our mother? Who brought us in this Catholic church? She's Susan Wairimochege, the late. It has been six years. And as today, my family, early in the morning, they read a read on her. Um, yeah, it is difficult. And... As the last born, I requested my family whether we can be able to do something to thank God. I have many things to thank God about. First and foremost, Your Excellency, that those years our father has recovered. So we chose a project which we are going to do for the members of parliament. My apologies, you're not able. Once we finish, you can go up. You'll see the project you want to start. A moat purpose hall. These girls, and you can see this place can get cold. They normally eat from outside. Their kitchen is made of mabati. So they normally carry their plates in class. You will see here. And then they run out. They go and serve the food through those plastic things. Alafu wanakula. They wash their plates. Then they run back to class. So today, my humble request, let us give back the dignity of these girls. Your Excellency, you have already been told when I was in the center, you have already been told when I was in the center, you have already been told when I was in the center. Lakini, I would plead with you that we give generously towards that Mot Papa's Hall so that within the next six months they can have a decent kitchen that is fully equipped, a dining room that they can be able to sit, and a Mot Papa's Hall that they can also be able to sit for CA, CU, and also they can be able to compete with the other schools. I was here another day. They were going to see you, and they were going to see you, and they were going to I was even asking them, how do you even differentiate CA and CU? And because they are disciplined girls, that is my project today, and I humbly request you to support me and my family. Your Excellency, allow me once again to say, at your position and His Excellency, William Samuel Ruto, you know